Now they're almost ready to try it out. They've enlisted Simon Askey, another balloonist, to help them crank the propeller. At a strapping six foot four, he should have the muscle power they need. Could we have everybody listening then just for a minute? So the number one thing to know is that you don't get out without uh, the command to do it. If someone does get out by mistake, this will go up like a lift and it'll pin itself to the roof. If anybody feels uncomfortable for any reason about anything or sees anything coming loose or whatever, just say stop and we will stop. And no question. To float the airship, they take out some of the sand that's weighing it down until it begins to lift off the ground. All right, so away we go. Kind of the training I've done for this. <laughs> We're moving. We're moving a quarter of an inch at a time. Outstanding. The weight is so finely balanced that pouring out just a few handfuls of sand makes a difference. <laughs> are we, how far off we? We live very funny. And we're turning. Are we off the ground? Um, right way. And we're millimeters. turning as well. Bloody hell. Who's there? You were right. <laughs> we are turning. This is totally amazing. Going too fast for me. Nothing's fallen off. So far, so good. <laughs> Outstanding. It, it does work. <laughs> We were bowling along there. It felt as if we were going along with wheels on. Hey, Is we weren't doing sprint speed. We were Is just doing normal moving? cruise speed. We were moving and we were turning actually quite good. I couldn't okay. quite decide which direction they were going. I thought they were going to go through that wall. Okay. Everything's working and it's, it's just, it's such a laugh actually. I mean, we would carry on doing this all day because... It's what it's yeah, supposed to do, it isn't it? It's just fantastic. Hmm. This is good. We just have to learn how to fly this thing, that's all. Nice and easy. Nice and easy start. They need practice before they'll be ready to fly outside. <laughs> you hurt. What speed are we doing, John? 1.3. <laughs> so much for One point seven mile per hour theory. Serious turn right now. Okay, more right, I think. They're closing on the wall. They'll need more power if they're going to turn in time. Okay, we got ready. Right. Two, two miles an hour, 2.1, 2.2. We're not going to make oh, the turn. Stop. Stop. No. Pull, 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 pull the rope. Luckily, nothing's damaged. Our rudder is probably too small. So, Which, when we, when we first saw it, we all thought it was too big. Yeah, yeah we made it we a made bit it bigger than Mersnier to be on the safe side, we did, but yeah, we, we did. didn't go far enough. I think if Mersnier had been doing it, he would have... Uh, discovered this and he would have been increased his rudder sail. It would have been gigantic. Yeah, it would have to be a big yeah. sail. Despite the shortcomings of their rudder, they have to face their ultimate challenge and fly outside. They need calm weather, and it's calmest at dusk and dawn. They hope to fly this evening. It's quite breezy. When the windsock well, is nearly go, horizontal, it's about 15 Six. knots. The final decision is Don's. Well, it's, it's too windy tonight for an experimental thing like this. So um, I think the only thing is to stand by and take a look tomorrow morning. Mersnier would have had the same problem. Even in moderate winds, the airship would be blown around uncontrollably. But it's not what the team wanted to hear. I would have loved, loved, loved to have just flown straight out the end of the hangar and zoomed mm. around the field because we were getting the hang of it and it's, it's just but we'll have to wait till tomorrow I don't mind we waited 200 years <laughs> early next morning it's no better well it's not a very nice morning I think the front's passed no it's, I don't think we have it this morning the team can't afford just to keep coming back after much discussion, they decide to have one last try. So they consult the weather charts. But as autumn's bringing worse weather along, they have to accept they may never fly Mersnia's airship outside. Then a few days later, they get lucky. 
there's a break in the weather and it's calm enough to fly. Mersnia's airship can at last see the light of day. I'm very excited, although the wind, it's like, it's like sailing. You can feel the wind hit the, hit the top of it, and I can imagine we're just, yeah, we're just going to be blown that way, I think, very quickly. The wind is picking up, which could cause <laughs> trouble. One important bit of kit that I'm going to take with me is my mobile phone <laughs> and a parachute. <laughs> Other than that, I feel great. <laughs> For rotary. Parachutes are put on and essential supplies are loaded. OK. Yep, you're ready. All hands off. Hands off. The maiden voyage of Mersnia's airship begins. To complete the challenge, they must fly down the field, turn around, and steer back again. <laughs> We're supposed to be going that way. <laughs> In moments, things have started to go wrong. Keep going, keep going. Go up. We're going to bounce. Oh, rather the wrong way. Outside, they seem to be lacking any control over their airship and the bumps and bangs are bringing the propeller precariously close to the chain. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a gigantic sort of kangaroo just bouncing around a field. Yeah, we, it's all been last, but we're getting serious now. Have you got the rudder the right way, Don? So many captains in this ship. Have you got the rudder the right way, Don? Well, this is a committee governed ship. We vote on everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is democratic. This is democratic. It's a French Republic. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Right, let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> All hands off. Hands off. They have another go. Soon, they're powering their way down the field. OK, let's keep it going. Let's keep it smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Keep it smooth. We don't want the chain to come off. The chain is looking slack. Does this mean an end to their mission? I got it. Okay. Underneath. Got it. Okay. Let's lift this up. They did it on the Apollo mission with Just a lot less than this. <laughs> Slight technical problem there. The trouble is when we crank really hard, it goes very slack on the on the upside of the chain, and I think it just came off there. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can pull the rudder right around, on. Pull the rudder right around. Yeah. They must turn around and attempt to go back against the wind. This is the real test of power and whether they have control of the airship. That one, that's it. Yeah. We'll grab it before we lose Not it. Good. There's obviously something wrong. I think, Chris, we might be hitting the wire here. Oh, right. Oh, right, OK. The chain is hitting the safety cage. However, when the chain just broke, it was nice having the safety cage over our heads. <laughs> if we hadn't had the safety cage, the chain wouldn't have broken. But because we had the safety cage, we were safe when it broke. <laughs> okay. They hope that balancing up their weight a bit differently might stop it happening again. Go stand at the far end. Oh, careful. That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, not right, not right at the far end. They decide the fine tuning is more easily done on the ground. Where is all this okay. being? We've got about 35 minutes left before it'll be too dark. But we like it up here. We're OK, don't worry. <laughs> Having to wait until dusk for the calm weather means they're now running out of light. It's too dangerous to fly once it's dark. They need to do their last minute adjustments as quickly as possible. This needs to go that way, forwards or backwards? Back. Needs to come backwards. So if you pull on these. Their next attempt must be their last, as the light's now fading fast. That's better. Is it? Okay. Here we go. To succeed, they still have to turn around and battle back against the wind. This is good. Come on. Okay, the chain's looking come good. On, baby. Here we go, guys. We're turning. We're turning. OK, let's keep it going. We've done it! <laughs> OK, now into the wind, straight into the wind.